Summer here. Today we are going to learn a fun new duet called the Knuckle Song. We call it the Knuckle Song because we play part of it using our knuckles, like this. This duet has a bunch of sections and they're all super fun and easy. So here's the first one. All right, we're going to take our knuckles and we're going to play this first part. With these three black keys, you're going to start at the bottom and go to the top. Ooh, that's fun, huh? And then we're going to hit this one right above it twice. So it goes like this. And we're going to do it again. Okay, got it? And then we're going to start at the top of the three keys now with our knuckles and go down. Got that? And then we're going to play this one of the two keys, the top one below it. Okay, so let's try that much again. So going up with this one, and then going back down. Can we do that much? Here we go. Okay, that was easy, right? Now we're gonna play some of that again. Going up again. Ah, and here's where it changes. Instead of going back down, we're gonna play with our middle finger and we're gonna play, and then just a half a step up to this white key, and then a half step up to this black key again, and then skip over to this white key, and then three times. Okay, let's do that last section again. So we went up, and then instead of going back down, we play the this little sequence, black key, white key, black key, and then white key up here, and then black key. All right, can we put the whole thing together and see what it sounds like? We can go slow. Let's try it. And then again. And then instead of going down. All right, good job everyone. Okay, now here's a second variation of that part. We're gonna use our knuckles again, play these three keys, but instead of rolling like we were doing, we're just gonna smash all three of them together. All right, so we're gonna play three times. And then still play that one. And then instead of going down like we did before, we're gonna smash them again. And then play this bottom one. So let's put those two together. So we do the smashy thing, and then this top note, and this bottom note, and then remember, we do keep that part. So let's try it again. So smashy thing, top note, smashy thing, bottom note, smashy thing, and then this little sequence. Okay, so here's a third variation. Instead of starting on these three black keys, we're going to start on these two black keys above it. So here we go. It's going to start on the second one and go down to the white key. Can we do that? So black key, the white key in between, the black key below, and then up to that middle black white key again, and then this black key, back down. So just those three notes. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, and then the next section comes down to these three black keys, but we're just gonna use these top two of the three and then the white key in between. So same pattern, this black key, white key, black key, white key, black key, white key, black key. Let's try both of those together again. So up here. And then jump down. Okay, now the next section, you're gonna use those same two black keys from the three that we were using, and then jump up to the bottom one of the two here. So. Okay, try it again. So starting with this middle of the three black keys. Go up, back down. Okay, back up. 
So can we put that much together? Let's try that. So starting at the beginning of this, this variation, it starts right here. We go. And then jump down. And then just black keys. And then the same way we always end it, right? This little sequence. All right, easy, right? Let's try it again. So from the beginning of this variation on this black key, ready? And then jump down. Black keys only. And then the sequence. All right, excellent. Okay, here's the fourth variation we're learning. We're gonna start with these two black keys. So we're gonna start with the bottom one. And then we're just gonna play all the black keys going up until this one. And then we're just gonna come right back down and then play our final sequence. So here we go. Just go ahead and play them all. And then come back down. And then the final sequence. Right? So we're just gonna play all these black keys. Let's try it again. Final sequence. Yay! Here's the fifth variation. We're gonna start at the very, very top of the keyboard, way up here. Very, very top white key. And then we're gonna play a chromatic scale going down. So it just means we're gonna play every single key. So this one, and then the black key, and then all white keys and alternating, and just go all the way down until that's the last one. And then we're gonna play it again because we're gonna play the sequence. So let's try it, we'll go slow. All right. For our sixth and final variation, we're gonna learn a little melody on the black keys. So it just starts right here on the bottom of the two black keys and it goes up and down. I'll play it with you. Okay, so that's the beginning of the melody. Let's try it again, just going right up. Okay, the next part goes. Okay, try that part again. So the second part of that melody starts on the middle of the three black keys and it goes up and back down. Okay, and then we repeat it. And then what do we have after that? The final sequence. All right, let's try that whole melody. So starting at the bottom of the two black keys here, and going up, the second part, repeat, and then the final sequence. Excellent. Let's try to play all six variations back to back. I'll help you. Here we go. So the first one was the roll with our knuckles, right? So going up on these three black keys. Roll down. Roll up. And the final sequence. And the smash. Final sequence. All right, the three by three. Jump down here, black keys only, final sequence. All right, black keys up, here we go. Final sequence, now how about the chromatic all the way up here? Final 
final sequence. Now the melody. Go on the black keys. Second part. Repeat. Final sequence. That was all of them. Okay, so now we're going to learn the other side of the duet, which is on the lower side of the piano, and we're going to use both hands. So I'll start with teaching you the chords in the right hand. So the first chord with your right hand is going to be this top note of the three black keys with your thumb, and then this right above it, the next black key over, the bottom of the two black keys with your first finger, and then the bottom of the next set of three black keys with your pinky. Okay, it's kind of complex, but let's try it again. So the top of the three black keys with your thumb, and then the next black key over with your first finger, and then the bottom of the three black keys over there with your pinky. So all three at one time. Okay, got it? Those three notes. Now, we're gonna move this thumb to the middle of the three black keys here. And then your first finger goes here, below the two black keys on the white key. And then you're gonna keep your pinky on that bottom of the three black keys. Okay, so that's the middle of the three black keys with your thumb. And then the white key below the two black keys here with your first finger. And then keep your pinky in the same place at the bottom of the three black keys there. So let's try those together. So where was the first one? Where was the first chord? Top of the three black keys with your thumb, then the bottom of the two black keys, so the next key, black key over with your first finger, and then the bottom of the three black keys with your pinky, right? So that was the first chord. And then we move our fingers over, the thumb goes down a black key, and then the first finger just comes down to the white key. And then keep the pinky in the same place. Let's do those together a little bit more smoothly. Where's the first chord? Here we go. And then we go to, there we go. Let's try it again. Where's that first chord again? There it is. Let's keep that pinky in the same place. Just press it again, down here. Excellent. Let's try it again. And then where is it? There it is. One more time. Okay, now we just need to learn one more chord on this sub right hand. Where's the last one? So you were here, you're going to pull this thumb to the white key above the three black keys, okay? And then this first finger goes to the bottom of the two black keys again here. And then this pinky goes from the bottom of the black keys that you had and down to the white key below it, okay? So remember where we were before, this is the second chord. So you have your thumb here on the middle black key, and then your first finger on this white key, and then your pinky on the bottom of the three black keys there, remember that? And then we're gonna go to the third chord. You're gonna pull your thumb up here above the three black keys to the white key, and then the bottom of the two black keys. And then from here, pull your pinky down just to the white key below it. Okay, try it again. Go to the second chord. Where were you? No, the black keys, the white key, pinky on the black key. And then the thumb comes up to right here above the black keys. And then this lower black key on the two. And then pull this pinky down to the white key. Okay, so let's put them together. We were here for the second chord. And then go to the third chord. Okay, go back to the second chord, and then go to the third chord. There we go. It might take a while, so just keep practicing. Here's the second chord again. Okay, let's figure out where the notes are and go to the third chord. Okay, here's the second chord again. And then all the things we talked about, go to third chord. Okay. So keep practicing that until it's super easy, and then let's go back to the first chord and try them all together, okay? So where was our first chord? Do we remember? Top of the three black keys, 
and then the next black key over, and then the pinky on the bottom of the three, right? And then where was the second chord? Keep the pinky there, bring these down. Okay, and where's the third one? Remember, bring these up to above the three black keys, bottom of the black keys, bring the pinky down. All right, let's try all three of them again. First, first chord again, up here, right? On all black keys. And then the second chord, remember we bring this down, we bring this down, keep this here. And then the third chord, remember we bring this up, we bring this up and bring this down. All right, let's try those again together. Ready? That's chord one, chord two, chord three. One more time, ready? Here's the first one. One, two, three. Okay, we're on our way. Now that we've learned these three chords. Then we just go back to the first chord. And that's how it ends. Okay, now we're gonna do the left hand. It's going to be a walking bass line. So we're gonna start on this bottom of the three black keys and then the bottom of the two white keys here. And you can just use your thumb and middle finger. Back up and then we're gonna play this, then the white key above it, and then this second black key. Okay, so that much again. the middle of the three black keys below it and then back up okay and then play these two black keys together okay so let's try that much again so from here back down here okay let's try from the beginning so we started back here at the bottom of these three black keys we go. We're gonna see the bottom of these three black keys. We're gonna hit this white key with our thumb and then down to this bottom of the two white keys. And then what do we have? We have our final sequence. All right, let's try it from the beginning and see what we get. We have the bottom of three black keys. Okay, it's time to put our two hands together. So, remember where the left hand starts, right? Up here. And then remember our first chord? Right there. Now, we're gonna alternate hands. So we're gonna play our left hand first, and then we're gonna play the chord. And then remember we play this bottom note here, bottom of the two, and play this chord again. This one again. And then that little walking bass line. And let's go to the second chord. And then down here, remember that middle of the three? And then back up. Remember that little walking bass line thing going up? Okay, and then up here, remember the bottom here? And then let's go to our third chord. Okay, and then what do we have? Our final sequence. And then we're gonna end with that first chord again. Okay, let's try it again. So, where were we? And then our first chord, right? Alternate. So, if you notice, we play this right hand three times before we do the walking bass line, right? So, one, two, three, and then this walking bass line, and then chord two. Three, and then walk this bass line up, up here, right? And then chord number three, three, and then 
we're gonna do our sequence. Chord number one. Okay, good job. Keep practicing this until it's really, really, really smooth. And then we'll do it one more time, a little bit faster. Okay, let's try it. Everybody know where we are? Okay, starting right here, right? Now that we've learned both sides of the duet, let's go ahead and play it. Go ahead and grab yourself an extra pair of hands. You can ask your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa or your aunt or your uncle or your brother or your sister or your neighbor or a very, very, very good friend. I'm gonna ask my best friend, Presto, to play with me. Welcome, Presto. I'm gonna go ahead and play on this upper side of the keys, okay? All right, ready? Let's everyone start with the roll on with our knuckles, okay? One, Two, three, four. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Prestissima out!